So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do uh, eighth note triplets uh, with our hands. Uh, this one can seem a little bit confusing with the book when we start doing it, but basically we're going to play one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And then the text is going to be read. Anything that falls on one, two, three, or four is on one, two, three, or four. Anything that falls on an and is actually going to be moved to the let. And that'll vary which hand is playing that, uh, if you're depending on your, if the one and the three or the two and the four. One and three, that will be a right hand. Two and four, that'll be a left hand, if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, it'll be opposite. Um, I suppose you could do this with quarter notes on the bass drum. I, I think it's probably easier to start off just doing just your hands and, you know, and then uh, you can add in the hi-hat and then eventually add in the bass drum if you wanted to as well on the quarter notes or you could put the bass drum with the accents as well. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do with the accents that we'll talk in a minute. But so like the first bar winds up being... Second bar. Third bar. Fourth bar. I'll mess that up, it's actually. Uh, so, this is really, uh, uh, really great for your hands, and there's all kinds of ideas we can come up with these. Um, you can do some of the same things we did before, uh, where you could say, well, I'm going to play time. Maybe do the time a little bit differently now. Maybe do three bars a time, and then do this as one bar, like a one bar setup. And so we, if we just did... that and that's a, that's a great way to play these as well um, and then eventually we could take these and we can move them to the top top um, eventually you can move them to uh, you can put bass drums underneath them too those and you can move your hands to the toms or the crashes. And, uh, and that'll just give you a lot of, man, there's so many things, because eventually you could put flams in there, you could put diddles in there. Um, and, um, and then you can eventually start to mix them all up. I think it's real important to improvise after you do the sheet as well because uh, that, that's how you're going to really start applying this stuff. <laughs>